In this video, you will learn how to create a stacked chart in Microsoft Excel. Additionally, you will also learn how to add total values for stacked chart. Currently, you can see here I have inserted total values here, which are indicated by red colors. The sum of cases for each bar is displayed here. Additionally, if you look at this data, it is the data about the corona cases for children, men, women, and old people in different cities. And I have generated this chart using the set of data. You can see here the y axis shows the number of cases and x axis shows the city name. And this bar shows the division of cases in children, men, women, and old people. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, make sure you have arranged your data like this one. After doing that, select this data. Go to insert option and in insert option, you will find the option of charts. From here, I will select insert column or bar chart, select this one. And here you will find the option of stack chart. Click on it and resize it according to your requirement. Now I will click on this chart and here you will find the option of chart element, which is the plus sign. Click here. You will find different options. From here, I will choose component according to my requirement. I will select axis title. Chart title is already selected. I want to insert data label, so I will select this one. I don't want data table, so I will not select this one. Additionally, I don't want grid lines, so I will deselect this option. Select chart title. And in formula bar, I will write corona cases. Press enter. Go to home tab and from here I will select bold, 16 font size and black color. Similarly, I will select Y axis title and it is the number of cases. I will write number of cases in formula bar. Press enter. Bold it, black color and font size 12. I will copy this format using format painter option and click here. Now you can see here that the X axis title is already selected according to our requirement. Now I will select Y axis data labels and I want to bold them and I will select black color for them. Now right click. Here you will find the option of format axis. From here, you can select minimum value, maximum value. I will choose maximum value 500 instead of 600. I will write 500 here. Click anywhere. Now you can see here the maximum value is changed to 500. I will again select it. And from here, you will find the option of major unit as well as minor unit. You can adjust the difference between these axis labels according to your requirement using major unit option or minor unit option. If I scroll down, here you will find the option of tick marks. Click here. And from here, you can select tick marks on outside, major type outside, minor type outside. Now go to fill a line option and I want to insert a solid line here. I will select solid line and from here you can choose the color of line and you can adjust the width of line. I want to insert a line with 1.5 pt width. Now you can see here the line is inserted here according to our requirement. Now select x axis right click go to format axis option and from here you will find the option of fill and line and in line i will select solid line black color is already selected and i will adjust the width to 1.5 pt now select y axis labels and copy the format using format painter option and just click on x axis labels. These will be formatted according to this. Now select any bar, click any bar. Now you can see here only one data series is selected. Place your cursor here, right click. 
and here you will find the option of format data series from here you can adjust the series overlap and gap width for example if i change this one you will observe a change in it so you can adjust series overlap using this option currently i will select 100 percent overlap additionally you can also adjust the gap width using this option you can increase or decrease the width using this option click on the chart go to chart design option and here you will find the option of chart styles from here you can select any style according to your requirement here is the option of quick layout you can also choose quick layout according to your requirement you can also change the color of this graph using change color option these are the default colors you can use this one and if you are interested to customize these bars according to your requirement you can also do that click on these bars you can see here only data labels are selected right click and here you will find the option of format data labels from here you can choose component according to your requirement if you want to display the series name you can select this one if you don't want you can deselect this one currently you can see here only values are selected i don't want letter line so i will unselect this one and if you are interested to display the series name or category name you can select this option this will be displayed in bars and from here you can choose the label position i have already selected center so i will select this one Additionally, if you want to format these data labels, go to home tab and from here you can select color font style according to your requirement. If you want to format the data labels for remaining data series, simply select those and repeat the procedures. Now you will learn how to change the color and insert a solid line or border line. Click here. Now you can see here data labels are selected instead of these bars so I will click here. Now you can see here these bars are selected. Place your cursor on these bars. Right click. Go to format data series option and here you will find the option of fill and line. From here I will choose solid fill. And you can select color. Additionally if you are interested to insert a border scroll down and here you will find the option of border select solid line and choose the border color from this option and adjust the width using this option i will select one pt similarly select second portion of par and repeat this procedure if i scroll down here i will select solid fill and i will choose color according to my requirement and if you are interested to insert a border select solid line and choose the color using this option and from here you can adjust the width similarly you can repeat the procedure for remaining portions or for remaining data series now you will learn how to insert the total values i will write total here Select the cell, put equal sign and write sum. Select this one and select all these. Close the bracket, press enter. Now select the cell where you have already applied the formula. Place your cursor at the corner and drag it down to calculate the sum for remaining rows. After doing that, select this graph, place your cursor at the corner and drag it down. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted this data in the form of stacked bar chart. Now select this portion, right click and here you will find the option of change series chart type. Scroll down and here you will find the option of total. From here, I will select scatter plot with only markers. Select XY scatter plot with only markers. 
and from here I will deselect secondary axis option. Click on OK. Now you can see here the Microsoft Excel has inserted scatter plot here. Select this one. Now you can see here data labels are selected. Right click, go to format data label option. And if you scroll down, you will find the option of label position. I will select above. Click on OK. Close this one. Now you can easily select these scatter plots. Select this one. Right click. Go to format data series option. And from here, go to fill and line option. And select no line. In marker, select no fill. And in border, select no line. Close this one. Now you can see here. Only data labels appeared here, which is the total value of individual bars. Select this one and format it according to your requirement using home option. You, you can bold it, you can change their color. Additionally, you can see here the total appeared in legends. Select this one. Again, click here and press backscape. You can see here the total is removed from legends. So by doing so, you can easily insert the total values in stacked bar chart. Additionally, if you want to format these legends, simply select this one and format it according to your requirement. And if you want to change the direction, simply right click, go to format legend option. And from here, you can choose the location top, bottom, left, right, according to your requirement. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.